Unicorn Circuit. Welcome to the Unicorn Circuit, your weekly dose of drama. So much drama. So much too bum, sexy bum, versus bum, twisted bum, conspiracies. Bum, bum. So much drama. Conspiracies. Martin. Yes. Wait, are we cracking out the cat hat? Straight up. Well, basically, that uh, we said last week that we do a Too Sexy vs. Twisted uh, conspiracy special. Um, there ain't a whole lot of conspiracies, but we are going to dive into them during the news. Let's just dive right into it. But first, Martin, the important questions. Top rated comment on the last video we did was this. Go. Marty's right. No one cares about your watch. Oh. Or something to that effect. Oh. Because people don't care. No. Uh, I don't care either. No. Um, but you're not wearing yours today because yours is probably flat. No, it's not actually. Yep. I, I forgot to put it on. But it was weird thing. I forgot to put it on yesterday and then today I was like walking, walking and I'm You're right, no one cares. And All I right, didn't, I let's didn't have it. Jump and you know what? Straight Because my body had forgotten that there was supposed to be a thing like wrapped around my wrist all the time. And he'd gone, oh, there isn't a thing wrapped around your wrist anymore. <laughs> Nobody cares about Apple watches yeah. or Garmin watches start. News. You said no one cares about your watch. Welcome to the news. No, they meant no one cares about either of our watches oh. is what they meant. Let's not talk about um, watches But the one thing again. that I'll say even though we're in the news now is about the watches is the crappy thing about the Apple Watch is that you can't even run a marathon, not that we would or could. Uh, you can't run it on one charge. Whereas your watch lasts like a week, the Apple Watch only charges a day. Conspiracy. Mom, let's get into the drama. What's the um, drama? Okay, the first drama is people think we're not married anymore. They think we're getting a divorce because we had a race in our cars. We've been racing our cars for 11 years, there's no problem. Actually, we've been racing our cars for probably about 13 or 14 years. We only started filming it yeah. 11 years ago. Yeah. Like that time I smoked you in my 180 in the wet when you had your wagon. Do you remember that time I had to take the TRD laser to the drag race, the drag yes. races? Come on! <laughs> That must have been at least an 11 second pass. That was so embarrassing. So good. So oh my good. God. What a fantastic video. That was the video. worst. Anyway, so we have a couple of things, uh, a couple of concerns. We need, we need to, what do you call it when we you attend to the drama? We have concerns need to be, need to be squeaked, squashed. Respond, that's what YouTubers say, the respond. vloggers. We respond to the drama. We respond to the drama. <laughs> uh, also, no, someone else said, sorry we while react, we're there. We're reacting to the, um, that somebody I saw in some comments, people were like, they don't like vloggers. I, I haven't really met that many no, I of them. Problem with vloggers. Um, I don't have a problem. I, if I met them and I didn't like them, then I wouldn't like them. But if I met them and I liked them, then I would like Regardless them. Regardless of whether they're holding an iPhone and pointing it at themselves is not really going to affect that much as to whether that person's cool or not. Yeah. Like they're either cool and they hold an iPhone or they're cool and they don't hold, hold an iPhone and go, hey guys. Yep. I don't some know. people say vloggers are the drifters of the video world. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, and I, it's contentious. So let's just leave that there. Like you can, you can, you can achieve as I have some basic skills in a short amount of time yes. that may look impressive, but is not actually that good. <laughs> I just, that's all I would say about vlogging. All I would say, about vlogging, all I would say about vlogging is I really appreciate the art in, in having to actually film something and like all the techniques for shooting that have been established over hundreds of years, uh, hundreds, a hundred years, not even. Um, I think that stuff's like a bit of an art form and it's hard to mm. learn and hard to do well. And I'm definitely not saying that I can do it well, but I'm always trying to. And so I think that's, that's why I like stuff that isn't mm. vlogged generally. You can have the exact same subject matter, I think. Yes. And it's like, shoot it from cool angles, so stuff, make it look really cool. Or you could be like, whoa. Yeah. And one is definitely nicer to watch than the other. That's my theory on it. Let's get to the drama. Well, what was the drama? Okay, so the drama is, and, we, and I think we should just attend to the drama up front. In a, in a manner that is upfront and succinct and concise. Is this to do with a divorce? Uh, is no, we've already covered that. There's oh. no divorce. Sorry, people. Anyone who had their eyeballs on Marty's balls ain't getting them. Mum and dad aren't fighting. Don't worry. Um, all right. So, the first conspiracy, Martin, um, which <sighs> I think is actually true. The one fight we ever had, do you remember? Over whether you should put sauce in the fridge or the cupboard? Don't, that was brutal. Don't, man. It's do you remember still that? Raw. Don't. Do you remember that? And you're like, covered, and I'm like, No, because I was right. You're not right. Don't. Let's just get. This is a <laughs> car show. Fight. Sorry. It's meant to be a car later. show. Okay. So the first conspiracy, Freak, and time. I don't think this is a conspiracy. I think this person's actually right. The first conspiracy is that when we did the final race, Twisted versus Too Sexy, yep. and we were racing around that first lap, that you were actually letting me stay in front. No. Incorrect. Really? No. Incorrect. 
So this so is the because thing. the conspiracy is if it was this close the whole way around, yep. how come once how comes really bad grammar by the way? Uh, if you're wondering. Why is it that? Yeah. Why is it that when we came around the last corner onto the straight, I was on the inside, uh, and by the way, you might see in the footage I almost ran off the track yes. because I was worried about my yes. um, car understeering, so I went tight and next time hit the wall, but that's another conspiracy. Anyway, so I came around the inside, uh, went off the track a little bit, and then you zoomed past me. Mm. So the conspiracy is that you could have zoomed past me already, except you didn't. No. Nope. Because it looks like in the footage to me, if I put my conspiracy hat cat on, that you're not driving that hard that first lap. No, incorrect. Okay. Incorrect. Here's why. I thought, I thought, I don't know why actually, because they make pretty much the same power, although my car's lighter. I thought just because of that, I'd have it. Yeah. From the beginning, as soon as we saw the race, I'm like, oh, I'm going to just smoke him. Like, this is going to be so easy. And then we did. Well, the, you were surprised at the go to one. And then we did go to one. I'm like, oh, okay, it's fast in a straight line. Maybe in corners it won't be so fast. With the roll race, that was. Similar. We never got to drag race because the car wouldn't start. Anyway, um, once we got onto the track and we're really going for it, what I realised is Too Sexy would be a lot faster if it had enough grip. Yeah. Now it's got more power and it's got, sorry, not more power, it's got the same power, torque maybe, who knows, but it's definitely got less weight, a couple of hundred kilos probably. Yep. So maybe two, call it 200 kilos for all that interior and stereo. So it should be a lot faster. It's also got a cage, so it's stiffer. It's got like proper coilovers set up for the track. So skinny tires though, right? But skinny tires, 195s. And the only reason it's got 195s is I couldn't fit anything else under the guards without a lot of work, flares, cutting them out, lipping and doing the stuff, which was never really the purpose of that car because I blew it up before I got a chance to drive it more than once and then it was up at Al's place. And I did, by the way, put on new tyres. He did. And uh, so too... because we were worried about kind of driving on tyres that were 10 years old and that yeah. was just going to be a disaster. So um, Which there were, two were fives, um, so. wider tyres on there. So I had new tyres versus skinnier tyre. Um, so the conspiracy is is that you let me get in no. front. Um, I can say that's not true because the car accelerated faster. That's yes. obvious. You and the only way that. I stayed in but front once I got in front was you probably saw, I thought I'd be passing me in second gear. I'm like at the end of third or into fourth gear before I'm really pulling away from you. Yeah. And at that stage, I saw in the video that it sounded like your car was hitting a limiter or something or misfiring. It was starting like, to do something, which like is why I started going, like I had to go, if there's any chance of me getting you, I have to go really hard. Yeah. Like, which is why you can see on the second or third last corner, I'm going so fast around that corner, I can't actually get around it. And you see me drive off the track over the yes. ripple strip because I'm just putting it all on the line. And you see me looking in the revision mirror because I'm like, he's still there. Like yeah. in my head, I'm like, this is going to be so awesome. I'm going to pull away. It's in this mad drone shot of like this blue thing streaking around. And I looked and he's like 10 metres behind me. Yes. So no, not a conspiracy. Didn't let him win. Really had to drive the pants off. And there was no grip left. I'm also turning. When you run out of arm lock, you usually run out of grip. And yeah. I'm, I'm just like that around every corner. Well, I had the same thing, which is like, if I have to catch you, I just have to go as hard as I could. Last corner, go around, um, scrape down the side of the wall. There was some conspiracy that that was um, that was scripted. There, there was no script. But what I would say is if it was scripted, I would have had a camera guy there to film it. Yeah. Or stuck a GoPro or a there or something. Because yeah. unfortunately, we just didn't have in the film. You, you call it coverage. You want to get as many different angles as you can. There was no coverage of that. Um, whereas if we wanted to hit the wall, you'd put a camera there or have a drone. You'd have something so you've got and some you, footage you on it the wall pretty much when I went over the finish line. So I was getting all excited about crossing a line and going, did I win? I didn't even know you crashed it till we got out of the car. Yeah. I didn't see it happen. And I, I thought the damage the would be way worse actually, like considering how hard the hit felt yeah. for me. Uh, Martin, let's go for some more dramatic uh, conspiracies. Uh, the next one, Martin, is that why did uh, we had all these problems with Twisted starting uh, all day mm -hmm. and then after the race, I turned the car off mm -hmm. and I was Devo mm -hmm. and then Marty gets into the car the car started straight away. Do you know the answer? Uh, I'm pretty sure I know the answer because there was some kind of parasitic drain and yes. that those couple of laps was enough to get enough charge to start the car. That but the conspiracy is, there's two conspiracies. One of them is that you made my car run like crap so <laughs> that I would lose a race, but I think that one's a silly. No. And the other conspiracy is we tried to make the video more exciting by not doing the drag races and all of our burnout challenges, um, which doesn't make a lot of sense by pretending the car wouldn't start. So there's no, there's no um, drifting and burnouts at that track. So tracks have laws about what you can and can't do there. Um, it's like an emissions thing as well. So if we're sitting doing static burnouts and there's massive plumes of smoke, the problem is people who live near that track go, something's on fire and they call the, the they, they get complaints. So that's, that's why we didn't do burnouts. If you're going to do that, you need to go to you know, the dragway, I guess, and, and go on their burnout pad, made for it, pay for it, everything. Um, in terms of why the car didn't start, we noticed that it got worse the hotter the car got. Now, why would that be? Probably because as Tuning Fork said over the phone, 
when um, all the wiring is, you know, is not sufficient to carry all the current required to do it. And getting... subtitle to that, remember that the wiring was on fire yes. a couple of weeks earlier and when gets... we were doing the subs. And you drive it and do all that, it, it gets hot and the car's hot and so it won't hot start, meaning that it's probably not actually going to work properly until everything cools down. Yep. So it had sat for a little while and also he'd been pumping lots of current into the battery, which was sort of making up for it, even though we put a new battery in it, constantly like beating on it like mm. we did, would have basically degraded it. So. It's also the time between shots as well when we're setting up the slalom, yeah, that word's That's such a bad word. And the next one, there might be half an hour, 40 minutes of setting things up, whereas when I got out of the car to when Marty started, it's probably two or three minutes or yeah. something. So, um, a few know, people were saying like, like at the end, they were kind of like, oh, that, the end, what's the song? Well, the, the song was the Blue Toad song from when the yes. Blue Toad got crushed. And for the OG Mighty Mods fans, they'd go, oh, this is the song of when I crushed his car. And everyone else was just like, what's that strange thing? Man, I think that's all, um, I think that's all the drama. Oh, the other drama is by the time you see this video, it would have sold um, on eBay. So, Yay. Um, some Twisted lucky bidder. has gone up there. We put it on there for a dollar. Uh, it got up to $100,000. And then we got an email from eBay themselves, eBay Motors, that said they called it a high profile auction. They did. Um, at that point in time, the auction page had been viewed over 200,000 times um, and as such it had flagged something in the eBay overlord system. Uh, now a massive, they... massive shout out to Benny aka Mechanical Stig from Benny's Custom Works who ran the auction for us and he was the guy that was deleting all the, the troll bids and so now you actually have to be sort of registered. Yes, so, you're that's, so those bids are legitimate and if you if you bid it and you've won it then yep. congratulations. And of course half of that money is going to Reach Out which is a charity for uh, supporting mental health for young people and their families. Martin here's something I was a little bit disappointed about. Uh, Wishbone is obviously the restaurant that Marty and I have in cahoots with um, a friend of ours who's an awesome chef, Gregory. I saw they removed, there was a twisted slushy, which was like an orange vodka slushy thing because they do like boozies. They removed it. Of course they removed it. They, once, once my car lost, I saw on the Instagram Dude. of of Wishbone and it's like, aren't we the boss? No. Don't we say no? Yeah, Because well, we have a cocktail here there that makes all the fancy cocktails and the food. We're not making the cocktails and the food, don't worry, someone else is doing that. They removed it. It was me. Was it? It was me. What, you rang them and go, please remove that cocktail from the, the menu? Dude, the, you lost your car. Did you do you that? You pink slipped your car. That's you don't really get to lose no, man. You don't get your car pink slipped and now then you get to keep it. real drama. You don't get to keep your cocktail. But that sucks. And what's there? A nice, nice blue cocktail. Why is it blue? Wow. Probably because skylines See, are blue, but but it's blue and it's okay. not orange. That's I did not really know that, man. That I just I thought they were someone there was being cheeky. But if you won but you and were, there was a cocktail called Too Sexy. That shit would be in the bin <laughs> straight away. Seriously. <laughs> it's just like, see you later. Anyway, Martin, I think that's all the conspiracy and the, and the drama. That's all the drama. Um, Should we get to some real news? I do want to shout out to the original owner. Because yes. what a legend. Ray, like, what such a, legend. a lovely guy. And you Thanks, know what? Ray. People on the internet, they either go, that's cool, or they don't like it. It's quite binary. And everyone's yeah. like, he's a nice dude. Do yeah. you know why they think he's a nice dude? Well, there's a few reasons. Because he's a nice dude. Because he's a nice dude. That's why. And he's done doing cool stuff like putting his money where his mouth is and saying, I'm going to donate some money to charity. That's right. Like all from a car that he sold and, and owned for, from years and years ago. And he has the original twisted number plates that were on that car. He does. He now has them and they're on his slammed Merc. Yes. Which is like an old Merc. Very anyway. cool. So there it is. Um, that's the conspiracies. Uh, Martin, we're running over time. Do you want to do the news? Or I want to do some really Can we do good the one. news in 10 words or less? Yes, go. Uh, okay. Volvo made oh, no, not this. That's top too speed 100 kilometers an hour 180 kilometers an hour nissan have done it for years so is japan like so is that, japan. that's the thing but they announced that um martin your bit autonomous of autonomous braking probably mandatory by 2000 2000 is that one word and 20 2000 I get it. that's good 20 that's syllables um, that's too hard man. martin there's some things going on over at elon musk town what's he doing there's all sorts of things the first thing is that yesterday you could get a p100d Wait, you could that's... get on the website yep yeah. two hundred fifty thousand dollars in australia Whoa. um this morning if you check again you look at the calculator it's dropped by eighty thousand dollars now so what does this mean okay number one it means that your car is now one hundred sixty thousand dollars but what if you just bought one? Oh, you'd be what if you just bought one a little while ago? Your second hand value has just gone through the floor toilet. Um, have you ever used a floor toilet but in an Asian Tes country? Tesla don't care about um, floor toilets, resale value, do they? The Scott toilet? No. Anyway, Tesla don't you. care about resale, um, do they? I don't, I don't know, Martin, but here's the other thing. Um, forget the fingers. Um, Engineering our way out of problems with climate change, right? There's too much CO2 in the air, whatever the earth heats up, that's really bad. Assuming that you believe that's going to happen, doesn't matter if you don't, turn it off, go watch something else. Um, 
basically they're saying, what do we do with the carbon dioxide? Some dudes in Scandinavia have worked out a way to like capture it from the air and then store it. And really? they, so they're capturing CO2 out of the air and then selling it back to people in fizzy drinks. Like, That's a great like idea. soda stream. But then out it comes anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess so. But at least it's being recycled and being used for something else, not just sitting around there. They're saying, like, they're only pulling out a little bit, but they're saying, like, the 10% of all the rubbish in the air, they could pull it out of the that's air. That's a lot. Then the question is what you do with it. Another thing that's been going around is the idea of clean coal. I see a lot of ads for this stuff because an election's come home to Australia. Everyone's like, coal's great, clean coal's even better. So the issue with clean coal is that 40% of the stuff that comes out of that is captured and it's only usually like one little um, generator at each power plant just to say that yes we can do it. The problem is then what do you do with the stuff that you, you scrub out CO2? The answer is you pump it into an oil field and then it bubbles up more oil and you can use that oil for other stuff. Then you just end up with more oil but the argument is it's less you have to pull from the ground. It's more efficient, mm. etc. Tricky. Mm. The other one is, what do you do with all this extra sunlight that's coming through because atmosphere is all up the balls and everything's getting hotter? Well, you can go and seed some clouds and change the way they look. You can have thinner clouds so that radiation can hit the ground and go back out. That's you freaky. Have thicker that's clouds tough. so it bounces that's off the cloud. You can seed it with all this like chemicals in the air that changes the properties of how it all works, mm, which like is it. pretty crazy. But the reason you've got to think about it, or oh, they're talking about also glaciers that are melting, you can cover that in like a reflective sheet. Like literally pull a bed sheet over a big that's glacier a big and, sheet, go, and go, there you go, you're not going to melt now. Yeah, and they're That's actually starting amazing. to talk about it. Like yeah, in the next ten years, it's going to be a big deal. May or may not be a big deal. We'll have to see. If you what donate happens. them, then you'd be giving a sheet. You'd be giving a sheet. I hope people give a sheet. Anyway, because when you start your car, the stuff that's coming out the back of it, unless you have a Tesla, is uh, is potentially contributing. So. But then they say that by making the batteries for the Tesla, blah blah blah, and yeah. round and around the dinosaur. They've debunked that one. That that can be an argument for the comment section. But they debunked it and said actually, in life cycle, they are better for the environment. Uh, I've read though that it's best for the environment when you buy the car second hand. Like the first couple of years, it's like crazy, and then later on, as it goes, it yeah, does. Probably, yeah. That's bigger than what we can talk about today. All of it's bigger than what we can talk about today. Martin, let's move on to is that even legal? In this week in Is That Even Legal? It's more conspiracies, people. Twisted vs. Too Sexy. Martin said something very contentious in our video when we are doing our defect challenge, Martin. So I've done a little bit of research. Turns out that when I asked Martin to list all of the defects of his vehicle... Which I did off the top of my head, by the way. Yep. I had no list. No, no script, man. No. It was very good. Thanks. Oh, that was an exceptional performance or whatever well, that was. Well, performance because it's well, it real. Was a, you remember But I'm obviously stuff. wrong about it. It wasn't real because so... it was on the internet. Oh, yeah, um, true. But anyway, and Martin said... No roof lining. No roof lining. Sure enough, New South Wales, no headlining in your car, illegal. Defectable. Yep. I got that information from a Commodore forum. So it must be legit. Could be completely uh, No, I actually, I looked at two to three different sources. Um, I couldn't find, I didn't actually go to like the legal speak yep. that everything is made, then the laws are made of, but I did find two to three what seemed to be reputable sources, and it's correct that it is illegal to have no headlining in your car in New South Wales. Were the sources in the cupboard or the fridge? The fridge. That's exactly right, my friend. Next up, my crap car. My crap car is the awesome section of the unicorn circuit where you send us a video about your crap car and just show us how awesomely crap, or sometimes they're just awesome, which I think this one probably is. This is Mitch, he's got a Zephyr, I believe it's a Ford, Ford Zephyr, 1969 Ford Zephyr. This legend is from Penrith and this car is just, just have a look. This is, so Penrith, just to give it some context, is probably an hour west of Sydney City. It's in between the Blue Mountains uh, and the beach. It gets really hot there because it's a big basin. Um, I went to uni up there, a bit of a rough area. Uh, I, went to a, um, I went to a McDonald's birthday party there when I was at uni uh, and the McDonald's clown was a young lady. She came in, she'd been in a fight with another McDonald's employee um, and came in still with a fat lip and a black eye and using some foul language. Um, so anyway, it was very memorable. Anyway, welcome to Penrith. Hi Unicorn Circuit, Marty and Moog, this is my crap car. So this is a 1969 Ford Zephyr Mark IV. Now if you haven't seen this before, you're probably right, because it's very, very rare in this country. This particular one didn't actually get built in Australia and only came to Australia via import. So this car is actually built in England and then assembled in New Zealand. Built along the lines of the Mustang with Mustang design. 
so it's pretty cool. So inside, we do have a couple of tears in the seat, but besides that, the carpet's pretty new. Now we do have four speed column shift manual. So first is all the way up there, and second down there. And then reverse, if I can do it, is down there. Still in miles per hour. It's got no radio, because we like to hear the sound of the rumble. Bench seat, you name it, it's got it. Over here, there's a spare tire and an engine. The so 3 litre SX V6. I don't know how much horsepower it's pushing out, but it's got some. The radiator's kind of missing, that's because it's underneath the spare tire. There you can see it there. Old Jenny, converted to an alternator. Mustang bonnet hinges. The back. Kind of looks like a Capri. Yeah. Sounds like a V8, but definitely a V6. Now there's no room in the garage for us because of that thing, and then because of those things. She stays under the carport. But um, she's got four wheel disc brakes, four independent, four wheel independent suspension. She's pretty cool. Thank you, Unicorn Circuit. So there it is, you can send us a video of your car. Thanks for taking us out to a lovely Penrith. You can send us a video of my crap car to my crap car. Did, anyone, did anyone else notice that he said the cars are built, parts of the car are built in England, but then they sent it to New Zealand to be assembled yeah. and then it ended up in, in Australia, imported from New Zealand. Like That's a multicultural that's vehicle. What were, they doing, what were they smoking in the 60s? I don't know. Well, marijuana, Martin, oh. apparently, amongst other things. Uh, Martin, next up it's time for... Uh, the conspiracies continue with tinfoil hat cat. This week on consp conspiracy hat cat, um, we're talking some technology. Okay. And the technology we're talking about is. I call them ear pods, but they're not. I think they're called oh, air pods. You know those little white things that people hang yes, out of the ears? They look kind of weird. You got three of them. I've got three. It's weird. Because I dropped one down a sewer. Yes. Accidentally. Good. But um, but handy because then I lent what it to you. What was he doing in the sewer? That's a story. But then I lent time. it to you and you could use it and we could talk about stuff. Yep. That was pretty cool. Anyway, so they are a bit weird and I was like really anti them for a long time. Like they look stupid and they probably are stupid and they probably don't work really well. And a friend of mine had a set and goes, just shut up and just try them. Mm. And I put them in. Did you actually do that? Played some, like yeah, you. played some music and then like did a phone call, I'm like, this is amazing. And really? Because like when you know you're working on something and the, the, if you've got cords, it gets caught in everything or yes. it gets caught in your clothes, it's just that problem goes away. Um, but here's the, here's, it's not actually a conspiracy, but here's the thing I want to... It is conspiracy, how it cuts out. Here's the thing, here's the thing. All these things happen at the same time. Air, air, AirPods, CarPlay, all Didn't they stuff. buy Beats at the same time? All Apple? the stuff happened at the same time, right? Beats headphones. And it all involves not touching your phone, essentially. So earpods means you don't have to touch your phone. You can, like, tap it and then ask what's her face. Alexi? Siri? Silexi, Siri, Siri? Whatever that is. You can ask her and say, can you call my mate? Or can you, like, stop playing that crap song? And she'll do it. Sorry, Marty. No mates found in your selection. Oh, brutal. Or navigate Sorry, to Penrith and it says, dare not go there, for example. Um, go there so all lovely. this happened around the same time that the Australian government brought in some pretty hectic laws about using your phone. Mm. So, mm. did they call mm. each other? Mm. Mm. What was that? That was getting two very disparate points and trying to stretch them together. But it's not stretching them together. I don't think Apple cares about Australian government, do they? But, well, of course they do. Because if you just legislate to say, don't touch your phone, Apple's like, oh, People aren't going to touch their phones anymore. It means they're not going to use their phones anymore. Then they freak out because they're like, oh my God, we might go back to 2002 before there were smartphones. What are we going to do? Our lives are over. Our stock price is going to tumble. And what are we going to do? We can't make Apple stuff anymore. They went, let's make it so you, so you don't have to touch your phone with these little ear things and this little car thing. Or did that all happen before? Did that happen first? Which is it? Is it the wag, the, the wag tailing the dog or the tail dogging the wag? 
Uh, what, what I reckon happened, Martin, is I reckon there, there was anyway. research that was not just Australia, it was in different areas looking at uh, the way people live their lives and how active people are. Uh, you know, health is the new wealth. Everyone's exercising, they're running around doing stuff. They want to do things at the same time. They went, people don't want to be running and sending messages or they don't want to be in the garden doing that. And then Australia's laws just happen to be that it's illegal to touch your phone, people, if you're in a car. Pretty much. To touch it. You could just reach over and stroke it. Illegal. But if you but plug you in a CarPlay it. and it's on your dash and you, and you can answer a call. Yes, you can. That's but you can good. answer it from your dash but not from your phone. Or something, I think. Check yourself. Don't quote me on yeah, it. Yeah, just check that. Because anyway, it's five so points or something. It's crazy. Half your licence on It's crazy. Hmm. Um, so, like, there it is. I think it, it's probably, who was it? How did it Is it, it just good timing? Was there a meeting? We'll never know. Time for Bank of the Week. Banking is the delightful art of recontextualizing a product's name by taking a photo of it down near your crotch. Let's just dive right into it, everybody. Boom. Right here we've got the hard salami. I would totally give that a go, man. Would you? Yeah. Just ride it. Nah. Straight into Salami's that. Salami's not that good for you, though. Pretty fatty. Is it? Yeah. It's just, it's smoked sausage. It's so isn't it? tasty, though. But pres like preserved meat, essentially. Delicious. It's the spineless wonder boner. <laughs> I mean, there is no spine, it's capillaries, isn't it? It's cartilage. Is it cartilage? I think so. I did not What's know that. What's a digital R scale? Uh, it is what it says. I put some leaves cartilage. on. Yeah, why would you weigh? Sorry, I'm going back. Why would you weigh four leaves of lettuce? <laughs> um, oh, because they're on the ketogenic diet. But you're not are you allowed to eat that if you're on keto. Oh, I don't know. I think keto is just no greater than no whatever. No, because some people weigh their food, man, so they can count their calories. Oh, good. That's a th it's actually a thing. Do that. I can honestly say what I've never done have it, but some people do it. Something delicious, yeah, Martin. Yeah. I want something Martin, with a lettuce leaf in it. That's a long-lasting fappa. Oh, oh lots of things. Fantastic. I don't know what that thing actually is, but that's excellent. Martin, that's the big ball. Fantastic. Look at him go. That looks delicious. Just solid. Well solid thumb. Martin, that's a... Sure cock. It sure is. Next up, Martin, we've got Cock Beach, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty good painting. That was very well, good. Well done, that's excellent. Next up, Martin, the flange wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I like it also when there's no thumbing, like that's just yeah, that's straight just, up. It is just... It I just like his high vis too. It is what it is, that's excellent. It's pretty low vis, that high vis actually. It's been welded um, in. Martin, that's the oh. ass hopper. <laughs> they hop from one to the next, I guess. I guess so. Uh, next up, Martin, that's the, it's hand relief. <laughs> and this, this, is a, this is a business gentleman at his desk, at his cubicle, hooking into some hand relief and hoping no one's going to I love also that we've gone from, like, tradie and high to, like, office dude. I know. That's pretty it's cool. Good, isn't it? Thanking just is worldwide. It's always evolving. It's everywhere. Here it is, Martin. Dick, Dick, wipes. Wipes. Dick wipes. I don't think you can well buy done. these anymore, so well done for finding something that's not even in stock. And why is there a big ball on the end? I don't know. Maybe it's Dick and Ball Wipes. Dick and Ball Wipes. Sure. Is it Fank of the Week? It's time for Fank of the Week. Fank of the Week Drum roll. is Aunt Betty's Creamy Snack. Well done. Well done. Now you can Do I get your... bonus points for my fank? What was your fank? I sent it to you. Did you? Yeah. Did I just put it in there or not? No, Did but here it? it is ready. Do you reckon that's better than Fank of the Week? I don't know, Martin, because I can only pretend that I saw it because I actually haven't seen it. No, you did it. see it. I sent it to you. Oh, did you? Have you been ignoring my messages it again? It was excellent, Martin. You ignore my messages really after the it. source thing too. No, it's the watch thing, You talking to me for a day. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. She doesn't want to talk to you, man. Ignore Marty for one week. Sorry. Calendar on Apple Watch only goes out seven Sorry. days. Sorry. Oh, for seven Sorry, days. Mate. Sorry. Hey, Siri. Block Marty for five days. You were saying? Exactly. Whatever. She's not going to do it, man. Anyway. She I knows. can't talk to my watch. Martin, there it is. It's time for mailbag. This week on Mailbag Martin, I've got something very big. Oh. I don't know what it is. You to remember that Martin Frost is your wife. <laughs> yes. Don't. No. Okay, I'll send this. No. Don't oh, send. What does it say? Don't send. I won't it, send it. Thank you. What did it say? Get out Frost of it. Martin Frost is my wife. It was. It sent. It's whoever Martin Frost is sent them a message saying you're my wife. No. No. Martin, I've got this box. Oh look. I don't know what it means, but let's have a look inside. Someone's and see used where a it's suspension from. box. Um, by the looks of it, Mook suspension. We don't see this much in Australia, by the way. So we see a lot of pictures. You guys just peek out because there's Mook suspension. Um, 
I mean, do, I do, wish I'd do you have this it. in Australia? I don't know that we have Moog suspension. Maybe you can get some bits, but it's I've not a common seen thing it. here. I've seen the Moog synthesizer, but I've not seen the Moog suspension. Hmm. All right, Martin, let's. Have we um, it? So let's I'm getting nervous when that knife's flying around like that. I know. I got more nervous last week when I tried to open that envelope and I was hacking it and your hand was near it. Yeah, but it's. Remember fine. that? Martin, I don't know what someone sent us. Of course, these things have been sent oh. to PO Box 475 Sydney Markets 2129. And inside this box we have... Oh my god. Oh! God. There's all nice. sorts of Look. things in here. Look! Mighty and Moog, check the USB drive for my video and some pics. Had to send this box, thought it was perfect. Thank you for doing what you love and letting everyone tag along. Larry Clevenger and Jackie. That's awesome. The hats are from my employer. Sorry, they are camo. Oh, this there is we go. cool. And it says... Oh, a... no, Martin, open first. This is from Larry open first. and Jackie from Springfield. Springfield, oh. where they do The Simpsons. Open first, Martin. Oh, let's pass the parcel, Martin. Um, do you want to do one? Oh, it's like a Russian doll oh. thing. I see what's going on here. Do you want me to read some of this note? Can I read some of this note? Sure. MCM, love what you do. Wish I could do the same. Um, um, my, oh. wife, my wife went overboard with the snacks. Oh, play video. This will explain. My wife went overboard with the snacks. Hope we included something you like. Uh, yes. Oh my God, that's so... D dude, feel the weight of that. Martin. Feel the weight of that. Oh, like, our snacks savory. are not Checks that mix. heavy. That's like half a kilo of... Snacks. Family show. I included a video, but I lost it in part of the editing. I don't know how you guys consistently put out such great video in such short time periods. It took me forever. I don't know either, probably because we don't sleep. I hope you enjoy it. Not sure it's YouTubeable. Well, we're just going to have a look, aren't we? And we'll throw it in, unless there's something yeah. weird in there. Mm. Um, I also included a oh. book about Route 66 in America in a, to attempt to lure you overseas to experience what what me and the wife did a few years ago. One of the best vacations I've been of you enjoy it doing your classic buy a car and travel across the country ever to be. I would love, love to do that. Are we going to do that? I love them. Are we just going to do that? Are they awesome? That's amazing. Hold that, Martin. Are we just going to do that? Oh, man. Oh, I Ritz. get it. Crackers. I never understood Chex Mix. It's a mix of different stuff. We've got hats. I never understood. Martin, look at this. We will take this across America with us. Martin, shake on it. Commit that we will go across America and take this with us. It's a deal to the people. Thanks again That's for amazing. posting what makes this hobby so much fun. For God's sake, if you stop by, if you stop by, make sure, make it to the USA and find yourself in my town. Come and hang out. Martin, Jiffy Pop. Never seen anything like that? that before. Oh, did you put it on the stove and it just? I popcorns? think so. It's a popcorn maker. We've got all these stickers for our toolboxes That's downstairs. Awesome. That's awesome. This is I'm... this is absolutely amazing. This is Thank you so level. much, guys. That is, is that? incredible. What is sweet There's tarts? There's all sorts of lollies. Giant chewy sweet tart. Easy cheese. Dude, oh, Martin, easy cheese is for going on the biscuit. Let's just do it. Let's do we're it now. Because now we're, look, I've, I've only seen this in American movies. I didn't know it was actually real. Easy cheese, Martin. Um, can you um, get oh, cool. this in Australia? Easy cheese? I've, I've never seen I didn't even know you could send it. <laughs> I'm not so sure about it's that. It's made out of real cheese, man. I'll do it. Are you going to do it? Absolutely. Get Mate. me a Bicky. This is easy cheese, everybody. Have you shaken it up? Yeah. Oh, come. Is it you... a sideways thing? Does it say it was... Oh! oh! There it is. <laughs> oh, look at it. <laughs> is, it oh. weird? is it weird or is it good? No, it's fantastic. Is it really? Um, then it... No, it's really good. <laughs> is it good? Mm. It tastes like um, a snack. Oh! Um, that's ridiculous. I'm sure it's not good for you. It really? can't be good for you. <laughs> oh! Oh, that's oh no! <laughs> I biscuited it myself. It. Martin, that's also a random meat bag. Oh. It's got 20% of your daily salt intake by just having pretty much what he had. Mm. Martin, let's call it a show, oh. mate. That's our random meat bag as well. Hey, seven servings per container. Oh, that's a big serving. Which is like mm. a lot. Thank you very much. Cheese snack. Never Thank seen you for watching like the it. show. Hopefully, we attended to all the drama. And uh, see you next week, people. I'm going to take my book. Oh, look. Nerds. I then when I was a kid. All right. See you later, everybody. Thank you for watching. What's that? Bye-bye. Oh, wait. Stop. No. His video. Oh. We got... Right. Okay. The, the, I'm, the, I'm plugging it in right now. No, man. no. The, the video will finish um, with, the, uh, with the video. We're loading that up now. Sorry, I've got, right now. I've got cheesy fingers, everybody. Gross. Uh, that can just Not go it. over there.
Yeah. USB stick. Here we go. Marty's just loading the viruses. Play me. Dot M oh, what? Computer is being taken over. What? Okay. I hit oh. play, Martin. This is like a car, car, crap car plus car town. Is, is that a Sylvia? Is that a Sylvia? Yeah, it's an S13. And that's right. It's a Honda. Oh, oh what? Devastating. No, that's still pretty cool. It's like racing. Oh, no, I'm too. sorry, I needed my. Oh my gosh, I should have worn my spec savers. Three at 96.8 miles. Man, this video is so good. Yeah, we've shown a couple we're of minutes. We're going to put it in next we're week. We're going to chop it. We'll put it next Are week. We? Is it going in next week or this week? Probably should. Next week? No, because look how good it is. That's so good. Next it's week long. we're going to bring you the whole video, okay, everybody? Because it's gone for long enough. Thanks look again for sending us this stuff. Amazing. Thank you very much for sending it through. Sending all that cool stuff. Thanks for watching the Unicorn Circuit. Bit random. Is this the shortest one we've ever done? Yes, it is. Um, and, the, and we'll chop out all my talk about climate change The stuff. code word today is finger cheese. See you later, everyone.